Is it afternoon now? Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you so much for that. Um, basically, we just called you to uh, come and uh, attend this uh, very short press briefing, which is just intended to uh, make clarifications on the actually ongoing um, advertised police recruitment by the Zambia Police Service. And dear colleagues, you may wish to recall that uh, the Zambia Police Service issued an, ad an, an advertisement in the press on the 28th of February 2021 calling for interested candidates to apply for recruitment as Zambia Police Constables. The total number of constables to be recruited as permitted by the Treasury Authority countrywide is 1,200. 1,200. It should be made clear that the Zanga Police Service has decentralized the recruitment process to provincial level. And what this therefore means is that no applications shall be entertained at the Ministry of Home Affairs headquarters and not even the Zambia Police Service headquarters. And so all the prospecting candidates are therefore requested to submit the application letters to the office of the Zambia Police Service Provincial Commissioners in all the 10 provinces. And basically, like we said before, this is to accord a chance to all prospecting applicants countrywide, the provincial commissioners are directed to receive application forms from all the districts in their respective provinces. The decentralized recruitment process is meant to give an opportunity to all potential candidates in all the provinces, regardless of the number that is being recruited. The number may be small, but it must cater for all the provinces. Furthermore, the adopted centralized system of recruitment is meant to enhance transparency. So, dear colleagues, members of the press, government in the recent times has noted with great concern some of the assertions that have been made by some sections of society that the recruitment of security personnel was not transparent. It is in this regard that the Zambia Police Service has made the exercise transparent, accountable, and accessible by all eligible candidates from all the provinces. It is important also to note, it is important rather for all prospecting candidates to understand that the recruitment process will be merit based and what this simply means is that the qualifications have already been stipulated through the adverts and the physical assessments will be done in the divisions in the provinces so no one should think by running to Lusaka you are broadening your chances of being recruited so everyone is encouraged to ensure that you where the provinces where you are, that's where your chances are for you to be recruited. Not through the Minister of Home Affairs or indeed the permanent secretaries, not even the Inspector General. 
because these processes will be done um, in the divisions. So the advertisements, like I've said, clearly stipulated the requirement for any candidate intending to apply. I wish to assure the nation that the Zambia Police Service will follow the requirements to the latter to enhance transparency and accountability in the recruitment process. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me urge all interested candidates countrywide to strictly follow application procedures provided in the advertisement. All those applications submitted to Ministry of Home Affairs or the Zambia Police Service Headquarters will not be considered. And I must make that very clear. All those application forms that are made directly to the Ministry of Home Affairs or the police headquarters will not be considered. So it's very important that uh, uh, would be recruits understand that. We know that there are so many that uh, would want to be considered, but it's very key that uh, the procedures are followed. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for questions. You can tell us your name and the media house where you're coming from. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. And how are you? Thank you very much, Mr. Commander. I'm okay, and how are you? And my name is Karan Mishu from the Zambia. Of the targeted figure of 1,200, is there a specific number for, for women also? Issues of gender. Another hand? Um, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Kawanda. Yes, indeed, um, we are guided by um, the policies uh, that speak to gender equality. And therefore, uh, the police command is arrived uh, to those requirements and they will ensure both, at both layers, uh, we ensure that uh, the gender balance um, is taken into consideration. Uh, but more importantly, uh, this process will ensure inclusiveness. We have been saying um, the president, has, uh, who is commander-in-chief, has always encouraged that uh, in all the government programs that we undertake, no one should be left behind. So whether a rural school leaver or an urban school leaver must be given equal opportunities. That's the reason why we would want to see each district at the province level being represented. And again, it's not about the numbers, but it's important that we work with what the Treasury can provide for. And um, uh, this will also see the beefing up of numbers for the Zamba police, um, uh, which numbers are uh, quite low. But taking advantage of this uh, briefing, I want to just echo the sentiments of the Inspector General of Police um, regarding the political violence that we saw recently. Yes. The police have got a duty to protect every citizen. And they've got a responsibility to ensure that those who are in the political arena conduct their activities within the confines of the law. And so the activities we saw on Friday during the commemoration of the Youth Day fall short of what is expected from the members of the public. 
And uh, like the Inspector General said, we as government have done our part to procure the equipment necessary, equipment for the police to utilize in different situations. So we certainly wouldn't want to see such activities take place. When a police officer is in a combat, it must be understood that they have got a duty to do. And so daring the police will certainly not be uh, tolerated. And those who are leaders of those cadres who misbehaved in that manner should take responsibility and advise them accordingly. To the police, they must do their work without fear or favor. You are mandated to discharge your functions and therefore you should never at any given time succumb to lawlessness. Ensure that you prevail over lawlessness at all times because the only threat we have to democracy and freedom is lawlessness. And therefore, it's important that the police prevail over lawlessness in all times within the law. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Honorable Minister. Shall we all rise and allow the Honorable Minister to take this? <laughs>